What's up everyone? That's Dem Guy here, coming at you yet again from the medieval battlefield where we just laid siege to the castle with our new and improved catapult. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this truly OP catapult out of just nine supplies. Now, I'm sure in the past you have seen stem catapults that look like this one before, and they're pretty cool, but I just wanted something that fired a lot further and brought more excitement to my students. So I think I've developed a truly OP version of this little guy that is sure to bring your students a ton of excitement. Now, this catapult, instead of relying on the elastic energy of this one, relies on the potential energy that's gonna be stored up inside of this binder clip. So when it pulls back and releases, it flies. So always remember when we're using this catapult to use proper eye protection so that you don't get hurt. Let's dive in to the build. To begin, we're gonna take a craft stick and we are gonna attach the binder clip to it. Now, I like to open up one of the metal arms of the binder clip and then loop that first around your craft stick. Go ahead and bend that arm back down. Now open up your binder clip and loop a rubber band through the opening of the binder clip. This will make sure that your craft stick does not move and stays attached to the binder clip firmly. Just repeat that process on the other side. Use one rubber band to attach the metal arm and another rubber band to attach the craft stick to the inside of the binder clip, making it nice and secure. Now that that's done, we're gonna build our base. Make a cross at the bottom and then just use a rubber band to loop and secure that popsicle stick in that cross shape. And that'll give your catapult a lot of stability when you fire it. Almost done. Grab a glue dot and secure it to the lever of your catapult, which is the side that's not the base. And I like to put my glue dot about a half an inch from the top so that I have some room for my finger to pull back on the catapult and go ahead and secure a soda cap or a water bottle lid to build your bucket. We're now ready to fire. I love using mini marshmallows, but you can use all sorts of projectiles. Go ahead and pull on back and make sure you're holding the base of your catapult. And this thing, I'm telling you guys, it will launch super duper far. So be careful and use eye protection. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this build, please make sure to mash that like button and smash that subscribe button to follow along for more build videos like these, STEM product reviews, lesson plans, lesson overviews, what I wish I knew, program building tips. I got all sorts of great content on my channel and a lot more coming out in the future. So remember, no matter where you are learning from today or where you are teaching from today, I hope that you are having a great day and I will see you next time.